Hi Carl, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Other than a bit warm, it is quite warm in here. No, it's it? good. It's been an interesting afternoon. Yeah. What do you think of the venue? I think the venue is terrific. Yeah? Yeah, it's very engaging. Lots of uh, sitting space and uh, lots of interesting people. Yeah, because I know we were talking about, you know, indie bottlers are really, you know, they're, they're, they're so important to the industry, but they're going to be, there's going to be challenges for them. But do you think events like this can, can help? Help their cause, so to speak? Well, I hope so. Um, and I think, uh, I think the mainstream should reflect on how important the independent bottlers were right at the start of, uh, really at the start of the second revolution in terms of a uh, single malt whiskey. Yeah. And, and do you think, uh, I mean, is an event like this, is it helpful to kind of further the cause of, you know, because a lot of consumers aren't even aware that these guys exist. You know, so, I mean, that was one of the reasons why, I guess, for, for people who are buying, uh, if you like, core whiskies from supermarkets and stuff, you, you end up sometimes progressing to, to, to into indie bottlings or, or exclusive bottlings and things like that. So I, I was kind of hoping an event like this would kind of make it a little bit more mainstream that people might go out and search for these kind of guys or, or, or things. That, do you think that's hopefully helpful for the future of the industry all as of a this whole? Is, all of this is helpful. Um, I think part of the challenge for the independent bottlers is that their releases are so relatively small that uh, it's difficult to get uh, a fairly ex extended audience. Um, having said that, you know I, I think that their contribution to the development of single malt has been extremely important. And they were in the field; and they had the concept and the ideas uh, well in advance of some of the big boys. But they are things are difficult just now for them. Availability of inventory is. It's complicated and it's tight and it's getting tighter. That won't last forever, but the next two or three years could be interesting. Yeah. Look, for me, for me, it was an opportunity. Not working, not working. Um, it's a different kind of energy involved. I'm in and about looking at uh, just enjoying, looking at what people are doing, uh, and getting the opportunity actually to taste some of the kind of left field uh, single malts. I mean, the stillies that are. They are operating under the radar. They're not getting their personality exposed. So yeah, it's been a good afternoon. Well, thank you very much for coming along. And it's always an absolute delight for me to meet you because some of the stuff that you've done is, for the industry as a whole is incredible. Well, we're working, we're constantly trying to raise the bar.